so welcome back. So the first thing we're gonna make here is this roux. And so the roux is just either butter or oil and flour. And we're gonna use that to thicken the sauce in the end. So I'm just taking that hot oil and adding flour until I get sort of a soft dough consistency. Then I've taken another pan and added just a little bit of butter. This is gonna be for the bechamel sauce. And I'm adding milk. And so to the milk, I've added a bit of cayenne pepper and a little bit of white pepper. You don't want a lot. This is a very light sauce. Then I'm taking a, a piece of onion, roughly cut, and a whole g crushed garlic cube. And you're just going to let that simmer until it reduces in half. The trick is you want a medium to low heat, and you want to constantly mix so that milk does not scald. So once it's reduced, you're going to remove the onion and garlic, but make sure you keep the onion because we're going to reuse that. You don't have to, but I'm going to. So once you've removed everything, you're going to add the, the roux to it, and you're going to slowly incorporate that. Make sure you don't add too much or the sauce will get too thick. So you're just going to mix that up, and then once that's done, set that aside. So I've taken three eggs and a teeny bit of cold water. Now I'm whipping these eggs and I'm whipping them a lot. You want your, your eggs to run off your whisk like water. So it's not thick and gooey. You'll see here in the end, I'll tell you. So right there, you see how it just kind of runs off like water. So those eggs are done. So I'm taking a hot pan with a lot of butter and I'm just gonna slowly kind of mix that butter around the pan real quick and then pour the eggs in. You do not want to stir. All right, this is something you're going to cook over a medium low heat really slowly. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to, after I season the eggs, I'm basically taking a spatula and uh, it was still too runny there. I'm just kind of pushing the end, the eggs in a little bit so they fold. And some of that mixture will run out and fill that area, as you can see. Now, I'm going to do that twice. So I'm letting them cook a little bit more and then I'm going to push them in again. Some of that's going to run out and I'm going to let that cook. And then basically they're done. Now I'm flipping my eggs because I don't want them runny. If you want runny eggs in the center of your omelet, don't flip it. So I flip mine and turn the heat off. You don't want to overcook your eggs. Then I'm just taking some fresh spinach, those onions I had from the bechamel sauce, and some red peppers, but you can really add whatever you want. I'm not adding cheese because we're going to add that bechamel sauce. And then I'm just going to simply flip that egg uh, omelet over and take it off the heat right then. So I've plated the omelet and then I'm just going to drizzle that fresh bechamel sauce on and that is it. So I hope you like this recipe. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.